Yes, we'll give the cameraman back just a moment. Hey, Billy. Good. You all right? Good. Let's go, time. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know, I think there's a renewed accountability with this group of players. Make sure you're doing everything right. <laughs> really good leadership. Let's go, D. Let's start off fast, D. Opportunity, baby. Dominate, dominate, dominate. You know, I think there's a different level of connection with this group. Tell me, put on the clinic, boy. He like that. We have to agree to an expectation. Never stop. Don't stop. Why are we walking? Let's go. I, mean, I think if we can agree to what's expected of each other, we can say, hey, you know what? I'm up for that challenge. Go, 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 go! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! I would say you almost have to ask yourself, am I doing the things that I expect of others? Do you bring confidence to the team? Do you spark belief amongst the team because of how hard you work, the attitude and approach that you take? Okay. Listen to me, that's right where we need to be now, okay? We need to be right on that edge, okay? Well, we're challenging each other. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Yeah, the opportunity to speak to, you know, athletes, specifically collegiate athletes uh, at different institutions and places, it's always an honor. I've been traveling coming up on the past 17 years uh, as a professional speaker. Some people like to call it motivational speaking. You need to sit up in your seat and you need to look him in the eye right, and you write down everything that he says that impacts who you are. Okay, let's learn something to take full advantage of this opportunity. Let me introduce Stevie Johnson. What's up, fellas? My career ended when I was a collegiate athlete. And I think I just got a special bond with collegiate athletes because that's where my life had to take a different path. And so, fellas, man, I got, I got great respect and admiration for where you guys are. Like, it's special to me, right? And it's special to me for a number of reasons, but none more special than when I was a collegiate athlete, as some of y'all may know and some of y'all may not know, that's where my career ended, right? And so when I look at y'all, it's a special place and it's a special feeling. And so anytime I get to speak to collegiate athletes, it just resonates different and it hits and lands in a different space and place with me. And so I'm a firm believer in intentionality. Right, like being intentional with approach, being intentional with mindset, with attitude, right, with process. I'm a firm believer in that. And so, and so when I speak to them, I think it brings things into focus, right, because you're looking at a guy that was in the same seats you're in. Right, I'm just a firm believer. Like every great father, husband, son, right, teammate, champion, they live with a certain level of conviction, right? The conviction that if they know they're not putting forth, their best effort, not compared to anybody else, right? Because comparison is the thief of joy. But their best effort personally, it bothers them. Right? Someone that's been in your shoes, been where you're sitting, I mean, that, that makes it that much easier just to relate to them. And when, when you understand that they went through the same thing you go through on a daily basis, um, it just makes it that much more real. Adversity causes some men to break, other men to break records based upon what they're made out of. A lot of times during camp, how demanding it is, you can get down sometimes, but when you bring speakers in like Inky, you know it really motivates you to just keep going. Football ain't the destination, man. Football a part of the journey. You got it twisted. It ain't the destination. The destination is to be great men. The destination is to be great fathers. The destination is to use the game of football and take the carryover and add value to every environment we go into and every person's life that we come in contact with, right? We talking expectation, right? We talking standard, we talking integrity, we talking character. 
Right? When we talk about character, what is character? My personal definition, when what I say, what I do, and how I live my life becomes one. Right? My behavior reflects my words. Yeah, fall camp is a unique time, you know, for team, for personal development, for camaraderie, for goals, for expectations, uh, for things that you seek to accomplish as a unit. Right? And so one of the things I used to always say is don't waste the experience, right? Because you go through the emotional roller coaster in camp, if we're being honest, right? You have the excitement when you first start. You get into the grind of it, the nuts and bolts of it. You're beat up, right? You feel it. You're tired. You're, you're fatigued. And then you start to question if you really want what it is that you say you want, right? And then you have, you know, the third base, if you call it that, to where you can see the season, right? It's there. It's about to happen. And so the key is, Every single day, man, the press of just getting better, right? Like as a person, getting better, being a better teammate, right? Not wasting the experiences. On the days when things don't go the way you want them to go, figure out what's the good in it, right? Figuring out different ways to be a better teammate every single day. Having a personal goal and having team goals. Things to work toward every single day. But it's a very unique time because it tests you as an individual and it makes you come together as a team. It's deeper than a game, man. Right? It's about that man that's beside you and what you're trying to create and what you're trying to build every single day through the game of football. It's not the destination, it's a part of the process. You don't cheat it because you value it and you respect it. And when you value something and you respect it, you go at it every single day with the attitude and approach to give everything you got to it. When you can sit down and listen to someone, and it's just real. I mean, we get it and we can relate to it, so it's, uh, it was great for us. Give it up for each of you. Hey, one out, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, one out. We better have a good day. 88. What up, baby? With me having that leadership role in the D-line room, I try to hold everybody accountable. That's a standard. And I just try to make sure everybody doing their job. What up, bro? How you feeling? If you're not doing something right, I'm going to hold you accountable. If I'm not doing something right, I, I want you to do the same thing. Yeah, you are a nice guy. I like that. I love it. You're a gentle giant. Just like me. And Coach K, I was like, he just, he motivational, like, like when 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 you doing wrong, like he gonna let you know that you doing wrong. But when you doing good, you know he gonna he gonna come celebrate with you. Say what up to the camera all day. I don't even know the camera. The camera up there. It's up there. <laughs> I feel like it was a blessing just being able to come here and just being with these guys every day. Where you got your bag on? Retro's on today. Let's go. <laughs> You, you just drink some coffee, coach? <laughs> so in my room, the edge room, other than me, it's a really, really young room. You know, it's filled, it's a lot, it's filled with a lot of freshmen and sophomores. I think they're really stepping up to the plate, you know. Guys like Jack and TJ and Kelby. Hey, when you're going that far back, like, cross over, run there, and then start back home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throughout my years here, we've pretty much had an older team, kind of, so I've really, like, stayed in the background. You know, in this season, I, I really had to step up in that leadership role. Hey, how many more players are there right here with the ones? They got four more after this. They got twos going, then fours going. Why well, you got to go to the bathroom? No, I'm trying to go again. Oh, yeah, you're going to go four more. You got four more. Hey! Hey, no! Hey, no! Hey, no! It's great to play for a coach that played at the University of Florida, you know, because it keeps the tradition and it keeps the, the culture here, you know. There's the blitz. Oh, man, what a hit by Mike Peterson. There's the snap for Greg. under front side pressure. He'll be hit. He'll be dropped. Oh, man, Mike Peterson again. He holds us to a very, very high expectation. You know, I think it's a different level of belief he has in us as a coach that actually played here. If he's looking at me, 
That means there's somebody coming. Don't bite the seeds, right? Don't come up, don't go nowhere. He waiting on you to move. Nice! Hey, baby! In our room, he's always telling us about rivalry games and, and things like that. And you know, he, he wants to keep the Gator standard to where it was when he was here. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to do with this guy, right? Keep them hands on it. Ain't got nothing to do with this guy. My hands on it. Good, good. I feel like this year, like everybody just connected, everybody on the same page. Let's work, y'all. Yeah! Ah! I feel like everybody got the same mindset, like they they ready to go work. Every day, seven. Every day. Three steps on the cut. Three steps on the cut. You starting to you starting to set people up. That's good, bro. Keep doing that. I told you they can't guard you when you do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come get up, get up. Make sure your hands inside. Hey, boy, what got into you, boy? I think yoga is, is a great tool for really anybody. I mean, you think about us in our situation, helps your body recover, helps really loosen you up a little bit. Um, there's also the aspect of using your breath and that, that breath work thing that can kind of calm you down and recenter you. So I think that for us, it's been a great tool. Exhale, basket grip on top of your thigh. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, hinge forward, number one. The first session we did, I'm like, whoa, this is kind of hard. Like, I ain't know it was that hard. I thought yoga was just a real easy, slow movement thing. But, you know, it's sometimes it can get, get a little difficult. Coming out, giving out their time to us, helping us um, recover. I feel like that's a real good process for us, um, getting our body right. Exhale, basket. The whole time during camp, the whole team was talking about it leading up to it because last year was the first year we ever did it. So, and it was really good. So the whole time during camp, everybody was talking about it leading up to it. Come on, boy. Hey, come on in. Billy, hey, Billy, come Billy coming in. Check him out. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, today I want to talk about key words to talk about today, adversity, all right? Adversity ca causes some men to break and other men to break records. <laughs> champions act like champions, eat like champions, drink like champions, recover like champions, sleep like champions before they are champions. Pokes in front of the guys. I mean, that's what that's what a family does. They make fun of each other, but they also love each other. So uh, <laughs> we had, we had a lot of fun with that one. <laughs> hey, coach, I want you to put me in. <laughs> My impression you got the whole team dead. Where's we going? Going to the I don't even be leaving meetings that long. I don't know why they did that to me. Uh, I mean, obviously we see, we're around the coaches every single day, around the players every day. So 
they got up, made a little fun of the coaches, made a little fun of the players, and it was a, it was a blast. All right, guys. 9.30 curfew. You're dismissed. <laughs> Aiden Mizell is a rocket ship. Let's go turn up. Let's go turn up. Trust yourself and go. All right, boys, let's get it. Let's go, Webb. As a quarterback, I mean, you grow up your whole life. You want to play quarterback. And being able to every day um, be the same guy and push guys to grow every single day. Good ball, Max. Good ball, Max. Yeah, it's a leadership role. and. If, if you're ready to do it, then uh, and you'd love to do it, then it's it's for you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so for me, I mean, that's what I love to do. So it's uh, it's easy to go all in on it. Easy to wake up every day refreshed and, and ready to go when you when you feel like you owe it to everybody in this building to give it your all every single day. Man, it's. It's a blessing to work with him. I mean, he just gets it. He, he understands everything, every aspect of quarterbacking. Ball. What, oh, yeah, KJ? That's a good throw. It's a good throw. He's got to go here. Wow. The holistic approach of our position um, is one thing that I, I truly appreciate every day, and that's it's an exciting thing that makes you want to go to work on the field, go to work in the, in the meeting room, really. Every single day it wakes you up and you're you're thankful for it just because you got a surgeon <laughs> as a head coach. Sneak that thing right in there. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, O-line. Get up. Touchdown, Mojo Johnson. Good work, boys. Good work. Way to pry that baby open. Good work. Let's go, boys. Let's work. Let's work. Oh, yeah. It's, I love where this team's at as far as relationships, and I know the guys genuinely care about each other, they genuinely love each other. I mean, that's, that's what you want on a team. I'll check everything. I'll, I'll over-communicate all protections. Let's go finish this one. Let's go finish this one. Let's go, Nigel. Ooh. Turn up, turn up! One of the closest teams I've ever been on. So that's, uh, that just makes you want to go even harder every day for your teammate. Finish, get up, get up, get up. Wait up, wait up. Come here. All right, here we go. Let's rock and roll. All right, listen to me closely, okay? Now listen, the, the game of football is special because of the people that you do it with. Right? You're not gonna remember the, the touchdowns you catch, okay? You're not gonna remember the sacks that you make, okay? You're gonna be old like me one day and you're gonna remember your teammates, right? You're gonna remember the coaches that impacted your lives. You're gonna remember the people that contributed, right, to your career as an individual player, but contributed to the team. And when January came uh, and the guys who graduated graduated and who the guys who went to the league went to the league, and I looked around the locker room, I'm like, whoa, this is an entirely different team, like completely different. So I didn't know how things were gonna go, but it's kind of crazy how these last few months from January, we've bonded. You would think we've all known each other for years. All right, listen, this game requires certain things, right? That logo doesn't come off. Your responsibility to your teammates never goes away. Right? Sometimes you got to make decisions that reflect the team. Every decision you make is in the best interest of the team. And you got to give up some things that other people get to do. It's going to be no different, man, down the road. Right? You're going to have family, and people are going to be dependent on you, and there's going to be things that you can't do. And you got to have the character to make those decisions. Are you committed? Right? Are you committed? This is the closest team I feel like I've ever been a part of. I feel like this year, like everybody just connected, everybody on the same page. The days you might be a little tired, you snap out of that quickly because you know you owe that guy next to you everything. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really special team. We're on the same page here. All right, here we go. In here tight, stand tall. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Team.